U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken urged both Israel and Hamas to finalize a hostage for ceasefire deal at the earliest. Blinken claimed that 90% of the deal has already been agreed upon by both the parties with just a few issues remaining. But those issues are pertinent and it includes the Philadelphia Corridor. So at this point, it seems to me that it's really incumbent on both parties to get to yes uh, on these remaining uh, issues. As U.S. continues its efforts for a deal, Hamas accused the Joe Biden-led country for being blindly biased towards Israel. In a video statement, Hamas lead negotiator Qatar-based Khalil al Haya urged the U.S. to press Israel for a truce in Gaza. He accused Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu of evading a ceasefire in the Palestinian territory. إن على الإدارة الأمريكية ورئيسها بايدن إن أرادت الوصول فعلا إلى صفقة ووقف لإطلاق النار وإنجاز هذه الصفقة بشكل جدي وفعال عليها التخلي عن انحيازها الأعمى للاحتلال الصهيوني ودعمها اللامحدود لهذه الحكومة الفاشية وممارسة ضغط حقيقي على نتنياهو وحكومته وإلزامهم Meanwhile, a report is doing the rounds that the families of, those, of the captives with American citizenship were petitioning against the Biden administration to cut a unilateral deal with Hamas for their release. Speaking to Channel 12, U.S. Israeli hostage Sangwe Dekelgen's father said there is no truth to this report. Six days since the recovery of the bodies of six hostages who were killed by Hamas, Israel continues to see protests within the country. streets in Tel Aviv. Hundreds of protesters took to the streets in Tel Aviv, demanding an immediate deal. They set off flares on a road they blocked in the city, calling on the government to do more to bring the remaining hostages back home, who are still held captive in Gaza by Hamas. Meanwhile, countries continue with efforts to avoid the war in Gaza from spilling over into the larger West Asian region. Jordanian Foreign Minister Ayman Safadi, during a press conference with his German counterpart Annalena Baerbock, warned that the region was only a brink away from a catastrophe. Almania Sabaka can a diamond fee a dart and agile Tatbir Al Kanun at Dauli, Tatbir Al Kanun at Dauli, Linsani, where Makanat Almania, while Qiam Almania, Tafridu. على ألمانيا اتخاذ خطوات واضحة فيما يتعلق بفرض عقوبات على الحكومة الإسرائيلية وعلى المسؤولين الإسرائيليين الذين يبثون ثقافة الكراهية ويحرضون على القتل ويبررون قتل الأبرياء ويدفعون المنطقة كلها باتجاه التصعيد